when we came out with the Apple One, uh, we started, some magazines started giving little lists of the small computers for sale. There were about, you know, maybe about 30 computer stores in the country, not very many cities had computer stores, maybe even less than 30, but we were getting some notoriety and some level of magazine. Apple was always at the top of the list alphabetically. And of course, our features were much better than anyone else's. No one, no one could come close to that, that much for that much price. As we sold the Apple One in about three months, an unbelievably short time, I decided not to take a terminal I had designed in the past, combine it with a little microprocessor. I said, what if I design a computer fresh from the ground up, design it around the little starting frequencies, the speeds that you need for color television in America. And all the signals come out, and they're all intended to not only create color, but to drive the RAM with the minimum parts and to make everything work. I came up with idea after idea after idea that would condense you know, eight, 16 parts down to eight, and then more ideas that would take a little circuit with eight parts and get it to five and get it to two. And I'd work and work for weeks to find a way to get it to one and a quarter chips to do the timing for the RAM or something. Using chips for purposes they weren't even intended. Absolutely no waste. So proud of this design that became the Apple II.